When most people talk about SUNY New Paltz, they'll say that one of the main attractions is the beautiful campus. However, because of the construction lately, this isn't the case. SUNY New Paltz is known for its small college town and scenic campus. However, construction seems to be causing students to think differently about what they see. I hate the construction on campus. It's very disruptive. There's trucks early in the morning that wake me up, and there are fences blocking off areas that make it difficult to walk and go to class and go to other places on campus. In 2008, the campus started a very long construction plan. Little by little, more is being accomplished. The problem is, students do not know the extent about what is being built or renovated and when it will all exactly be over. I even called complaining about um, having a pathway through the fence or something and apparently that's a big problem too. You have to spend more money. The government has to pay more money. They have to write a new contract or something just for a little pathway in between. Starting with the spring of 2013, buildings like the Wooster Science Building, Old Main, the Library, and Vandenberg Hall will be renovated. Adding to that list will be a medium renovation of Dubois Hall and Lefevre Hall. In 2018 begins a whole other construction plan where new buildings will be built and even more will be renovated. Unfortunately, the construction is not scheduled to be completed until 2023. That is 11 years from now and it is obvious to assume that students are not going to be happy about this. That's ridiculous. That's so long. 11 years? Oh my god, no, I would never. Despite all of the students' opinions about construction here on campus, one thing is for certain. By the end of it all, SUNY New Paltz has the potential to be one of the most beautiful campuses in New York State. Maria Rayo, SUNY New Paltz campus.